Hello, amigos, it's Shane Amiga here, and welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot XS, also known as Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, also known as Crash Bandicoot Advance. Yes, uh, this game has free titles. I'll explain why soon enough, because I'm pretty sure in about d d d d d d seconds there's going to be a cutscene. On a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth. Cortex, remind me why I have kept you around. You have failed me one too many times. Uko, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish that brainless bandicoot. He is of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before. Little scientist, what is so different this time? Trust me, Yuka. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. Spandicoot, excess! At last, my planetary minimizer is complete. Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. <laughs> Finally, after all these years of abuse, the, ta the tables have turned. Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler. You will look up to me. <laughs> I have finally won. Now nothing can stop me, not even that little bandicoot. Crash, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit. We must stop him. <laughs> it looks like as if C Cortex is using the crystals to power his shining machine. Crack? Proper crystals from around the world. I think I can build a device to reverse the effects. Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. Alright, I'm sorry if I um, kind of missed some of that text jab, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, th th you start with five levels, and this is the first level, the first level is called Jungle Jam, and, um, yeah, this is basically Crash Bandicoot on the Game Boy Advance, it's got levels from the original three Crash games kind of mixed together, and it kind of, um, I guess you could say kind of remixes the music a bit, they sound pretty similar to me, but they have a little bit of a difference to them, and the, the music in this game is awesome. The visuals in this game look pretty nice as well. I also wanna um, have a quick oh, here's the bonus stages. They that's you go on those platforms and into bonus stages. It's basically like original You know what it is, it's Crash Bandicoot. You, 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 you've seen this all before. But um uh, but, but basically something that I wanna just quickly take note of. If you see a tiny little jump every now and then, I'm recording this on an emulator, so the quality well, the quality's good, but um the frame rate isn't perfect. It looked better than I thought it would come out as, to be honest, because right here I was playing the game and it was, you know, jumpy as fuck, but when I see it on a recording play program, the video editing program, it's totally fine. But, um, yeah, it just, every now and then it might skip, um, some frames, but it won't be too noticeable. Uh, yeah, but this level is obviously based off of, you know, the jungle levels from Crash 2, and, uh, I, I just like the way this game is set out. They just made it so. Okay, we'll um, do little flash, um, little you know, kind of a nostalgia trip to these older Crash games on the PlayStation One, and it worked out pretty well. I think this is one of my favorite Crash games, to be perfectly honest. Um, the fact on the Game Boy Advance makes it just as good. You can play it whenever you want. Um, I used to actually own this game, but I kind of lost it. But um. Now we're on to the next level, it's an underwater level called Shipwrecked, and um, these are obviously based off of Crash Bandicoot 3's underwater level. Um, I guess you could say Rough Cortex as well, but I'd rather them based be based off a good game. But, um, <laughs> but, um, the good thing about these underwater levels is, um, now, first of all you don't have any vehicles you go in in these underwater levels, which it it to me is really good. I mean, yes, the underwater um, vehicle in Crash 3, I thought it was pretty fun, but I like it when it's just like this. Especially because of the fact that somehow they just made it right. The level design is just really good. These are, in my opinion, probably, I probably said this about the Crash 3 as well, but the best water levels in Crash. You know, uh, I haven't got around to recording the second Game Boy Advance game, so they might be better there, but for, um, I have played the game before, I just don't remember it. Um, but so far, I think they, these these are the best water levels in a Crash game, including future games besides the one I just mentioned. 
The music is pretty good. I like the music. The music's really nice. Uh, um. Um. Do, 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 do. Is there anything I could have said about the last level? Um. Yeah, apparently according to the last level, um, the name Jungle Jam um, is supposed to be based on a, a radio show. Um, that's what it says on this website right here. I just thought I'd let that out there because, you know, Jovia and stuff for the win, I guess. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, I need to explain why um, this... Well, I can't explain why, but this game has three different names. Uh, in Crash, in a, yeah, in Crash, yeah, there's, there's a country called Crash now, in Crash, yeah, um, this game's called Crash Bandicoot English, but, um, basically in England, this, um, game's called Crash Bandicoot XS, sorry, I mean, Crash Bandicoot XS, in, um, in C America, it's called Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, and in Japan, it's called Crash Bandicoot Advance, so yeah. I, I personally prefer the name Crash Bandicoot Advance overall. It might just be my, like, loving for the Sonic Advance series, but I think Sonic... Uh, I think Crash Bandicoot Advance sounds, um, the best out of the three. Uh, um, the reason it's actually called XS in England, because XS stands for Extra Small. So, you know, Crash Bandicoot X Extra Small. Because the world's kind of, you know, shrunk down. So, yeah, I, I just... For the two of you that don't know why this is called Crash Bandicoot XS. These bonus levels are pretty fun. They're, they're just like the bonus levels in, you know, Crash uh, 2. Um, and they're, they're, don't think they get anywhere near as difficult. To be perfectly honest, this game isn't that difficult. The only thing that made it difficult for me was the frame rate issues that I had while playing the game. But overall, it's, it, it, it's a fairly easy game. Just some of the relics could be kind of hard, to be perfectly honest. But we'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, 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 uh, I would totally recommend this to anyone who likes Crash Bandicoot and hasn't played this game. It's, it's, um, it is a really good game and it's a very good um, predecessor to the, um, well, success or whatever, to the PS1 Crash Bandicoot games. Especially um, to Crash Bandicoot 2. It feels like Crash Bandicoot 2 on the Game Boy Advance, to be honest. It has some Crash Bandicoot 3 elements, which, you know, just makes it even better. So, technically, this is the best Crash Bandicoot game, in my opinion, but... I kind of just prefer 3 a little more, just because I played that a little more. So, I... I, d I don't know whether I like this more than Crash 2, just because Crash 2 is on the PS1. And I'm just kind of someone who kind of likes to play um, games on an actual console. Except, re more recently, I've kind of drove more towards the DS. If you actually, if you go down that route back there on the left, um, you actually find a uh, coloured gem. I don't show it off yet, I think you need something else for it. But, whatever the case is, I do show it off later. Um, uh, uh, what else I talk, talk um, <laughs> this is why I don't, shouldn't go into two different topics in the middle of a sentence. But, um, uh, yeah, I think Crash Bandicoot 2 is maybe on par, just a little bit better than this, but this is still really good. This is definitely in the top five Crash games. Probably top three, to be perfectly honest. Cause, yeah, top three. <laughs> this, this game is really, really good. Now, as you can see, we're in an ice level. These are based off Crash 2's ice levels. Um, actually, what the... I, I just realized on the previous level, the um, jungle level, I was originally going to plan a little like um, Indiana Jones little dur -dur 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 type of thing because that one's called the Temple of Boom. But um, yeah, forget that. Um, this level is called Frostbite Cavern and um, it's similar to like um, level like Unbearable in Crash Bandicoot 2. The only thing is this level isn't unbearable, you know, it's pretty easy. Um, we have a Yeti chasing us, there's a big difference between this and Crash 2. Um, and actually, you can actually lead the um, Yeti into the crates. So say, like, right there, one back there when I miss some. If I move to the right, the Yeti would get those crates for me. And it would count as the crates being destroyed, as you can see at the top, um, top of the screen. Uh, um, yeah, we're running towards the screen, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Especially um, uh, if you're running and to run, you just press the spin button. You hold the spin button down to run. Just like that, there. Uh, um, uh, it it is, can be quite difficult if you're constantly running. Uh, um, you, you get used to it. You know, 
It's not unbearable, I think. I think it's pretty ice, to be honest. I find this level pretty cool overall, you know. I mean, you may slip up every now and then, but overall it is a pretty um, easy level to go through. See what I did there? Um, yes, I, 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 I've missed making these puns in videos, so you know, I kind of have to compensate for when I missed them all. Um, I, I'm now I'm just sitting there thinking of more puns that I can make, but... Uh, at the moment, my puns aren't that great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th this is, you know, another bonus round. We we've seen most of this before. To be, to, to be honest, uh, playing this game, I really enjoyed it, but and I thought I'd have a lot to say. But now I'm on the spot thinking, what the fuck am I going to say? <laughs> Seriously, I... This is a really good game. Just, we've... I've kind of talked over this before in Crash 2, so... I'm not too sure on what to say. <laughs> um... Yeah, that, that's... You have your old Nitro Crate things there, you know, you blow, hit them and they blow up every Nitro Crate level. It's all fantastic. Go back to the warp room, I mean, realize we're on bloody level 5 already. Um, spoiler warning, I actually beat the whole warp room in this one video. <laughs> so... Yeah, this, ge this game is rather short, if you know what you're doing. Um, actually, any Crash game is rather short. The difference between this Crash game and a lot of other Crash games, actually, is um, this one only has four warp rooms, so that's 20 crystals. So, I think Cortex was just like, my plan to um, take over the world by getting 20 crystals, herba up there's totally not 25, I'm totally gonna rule. Just imagine if Cortex got all 20 crystals, and maybe he like wanted to use the Master Crystal or something, and he'd try using it, and he'd just be like, um... Uh, Wait, well, I, I can't use it. And you just see Uku Uku in the background, just like face palming. That, well, if he had a hand, then he'd face palm. And he'd just be like, there's 25 crystals, you fucking moron. Yeah. I, I, I could totally imagine that. I, t I totally want to see a bad ending to this game. <laughs> yeah. Um, you start off with the slide attack in this game, also the body slam. Um,. When I was playing it, I was playing on an emulator, so obviously the buttons would be a little bit different in comparison to the Game Boy Advance. But I think the R button on the Game Boy Advance is the slide slash body slam. So, yeah. You can also hold down the down button to look down, but I wouldn't recommend that for sliding because it can be kind of awkward sliding with the down button. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, this game's actually completely in 2D. Besides, you know, the polis, besides like a few sections, this game has no 3D platforming. It's, if you're ever in 3D, it will either be on the polar bear or a certain upcoming like little vehicle level that you'll see. So, yeah, there's no actual 3D platforming in this game, which is kind of surprising because I always saw Crash Bandicoot as a 3D platformer type of guy, you know. And right here, just destroy the, um, Nitro crates of the mask. I mean, you could go to the, um, where, all the way to where the Nitro thing is and then run all the way back, but it's so much quicker just using this mask, so, fuck that. See, so, there it is. You'd have to walk all the way back, and walking back is effort, so just fuck it. <laughs> um, yeah. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So there's no 3D sections in this, which kind of weird, but it's a Game Boy Advance game, so I wasn't really expecting a 3D crash game. Uh, um, it it does it, it works just as well in 2D anyway. I mean, Crash Bandicoot had a lot of 2D sections in it on the PS1, so um, the only difference is there'll be like um, uh, what's it? No, that's no, I'm thinking of a different game. Nah, uh, actually, yeah, there would be like some section in Crash 3 where you could move more freely in a 2D section. You can't do that in this game. This is just one 2D plane. Now, right here, we're on the first boss. Um, the music is freaking awesome. I love the music here. Um, this is Dingo Dial, and um, he's going to make toast. He's also going to stand there on like, a pillar form on his head. But yeah, the gimmick to this is you let him shoot the sky, dodge his bullets, and dodge the sharks, and dodge all the little um, little weird pillory icicle things coming down. And when they hit him, then you spin into Dingo Dial. It's really easy. It's the first boss. What was you expecting? <laughs> Uh, um, so I'm glad that I, or, I used to always get confused with, if, um, this is, there's actually an ice level in Sonic Advance 1, and it would be, um, uh, it would have an underwater boss where you fight Eggman, and, um, he 
shoot these little things to go on, like icicle things down and you have to jump on the icicles and you have to go and hit him. I'd always get that boss confused with this one for some reason. And whenever I'd explain how to do it with a friend, I'd explain the complete opposite version and yeah, <laughs> they, 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 they tried doing it and they'd think, wait, what, what the fuck? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Because uh, that's quite a few people got stuck on um, the Sonic Advance Ice Boss, and I always thought I always explained to them that you had to let the thing hit him, and then I was like, "Oh wait, no, that's Crash Bandicoot." And yeah, we have the Super Body Slam, meddling marsupial. You don't, you got this lucky this time. My henchman won't be so easy on you in the future. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the middle of talking at Cortex, but yeah, Super Body Slam. You know what it does. Next level with Vice Snow Crash. See you then.